Hello boys and girls, you will need to turn to page 13 in your letter book and listen to the story. Before track 6, for use with pages 13 to 14 of letter book I. When you hear this sound, look at the next picture. Today we are going to hear a very old Native American or Indian story. The story is about a fairy, a little make-believe person called a Star Maiden. The Star Maiden became the special friend of a group of Native American people called the Ojibwe. This story tells how the Star Maiden found a home with the Ojibwe Indians. The Legend of the Star Maiden One night long ago, the hunters of the Ojibwe tribe were gathered around the campfire resting after a day of hunting. As they looked up at the sky, they saw a bright light shining in the top of the tallest tree. It was like a star, but it was not up in the sky. It was caught in the highest branches of the tree. It seemed to want something, but they could not tell what. Later that night, one of the hunters had a dream. He dreamed that the star came and spoke to him as he lay asleep. When the star spoke, he realized that it was not really a star, but a tiny fairy maiden. I am a star princess. I have been wandering the earth, looking for a home. I have come to your land and have seen that it is a beautiful land, full of sunlight. Wild flowers grow everywhere, and the rivers are clean and blue. I wish to make my home in land. When the hunter told the others about the Star Maiden's wish, they were very happy and welcomed her to their beautiful land. So the tiny Star Maiden started to search for a house. First she went to a field. There she found a lacy spider web strung between two blades of grass. This will make a lovely home. She climbed into the spider web and lay gazing at the beautiful land around her. But just as she was getting settled into her spiderweb home, the Star Maiden heard a terrible rumbling and thumping noise. A herd of buffalo came galloping across the field, snorting and tumbling in the grass. Oh no! This will never do. The buffalo could trample my little house. I must find a safer place. Next, she went to the mountain. There she found a hollow acorn and climbed inside. It was just the right size for her. And from her cozy little house, she could look up and see the stars. But after a while, she grew lonely in her acorn house. Up on the mountain, she was too far away from her friends, the Ojibwe. So she left her acorn house, wondering if she would ever find a home that would be right for her. Days passed, and the Star Maiden still had not found a house. Then one day, she was walking along the edge of the lake, and she found a bright yellow flower, a buttercup. On the lake near the flower, some boys were fishing in their canoes. She could hear their laughter and happy voices. With a glad heart, the Star Maiden ran to the buttercup and climbed into the flower. The buttercup shall be my home. Here I can be near the people I love the people who want to share their beautiful land with me. This is how the Star Maiden found her home with the Ojibwe Indians. When the people of the tribe came to the lake, they were always careful not to step on the Star Maiden's home. When the women picked flowers, they never disturbed the buttercup that was the Star Maiden's home. And when the children heard small, strange sounds or saw a shadow moving in the field, they were not afraid, for they knew that it must be the Star Maiden. All right, hit pause while you get your now, page ready. Now, turn the page and get your pencils ready. You are going to answer some questions about the legend of the Star Maiden. Look at the first row of pictures with the ball in it. What did the hunters see caught in the tree? Look at each picture and draw a circle around the picture that shows what the hunters saw. Now look at the row with the apple in it. What did the star turn out to be? Look at the pictures 
and draw a circle around the picture that shows what the star turned out to be. Look at the row with the umbrella. What frightened the star maiden away from her spider web house? Draw a circle around the picture that shows what frightened the star maiden. Point to the row with the rabbit. What did the star maiden live in when she moved to the mountain? Draw a circle around the picture that shows what the star maiden lived in on the mountain. Now find the last row with the ladybug in it. The star maiden finally found a happy home by the lake. What became the star maiden's house by the lake? Draw a circle around the picture that shows what became the star maiden's house. All right, boys and girls, make sure you double check your work and listen to the tape again if you need to. Bye-bye.